to watch that. Yeah, you wouldn't remember. I go, ouch, 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 ouch. No, it's just, it, 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 you've heard the old cliche, it goes fast. It, it seems like yesterday, you're either hanging on a mountain or jumping off a waterfall, but uh, I'm really proud to have, have been part of that particular kind of filmmaking where you got a chance to actually feel the rocks, feel the cold water, hang from a helicopter. It was, it was quite an adventure. Well, and, and that very spirit is what leads to Expendables and now to Expendables 2. In, in, in a way, this is a real hearkening to that era. And does that make it special for you? It is. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a, an homage to the era because I'm a product of it and, and many men like me, we've been very fortunate to have been part of a, a kind of a genre that was it just cropped up really in the early 80s and I don't know how much longer it's going to last and I thought, you know, let's just try to keep it going as long as we can and, and bring back some true badasses and yeah! you know, pattern badness and let's see what happens. You know, I've heard you use the term, um, the last time I saw you, uh, you used the term Velcro muscles for uh, what goes on in Hollywood after that era. Talk a little bit about well, it. Well, I'm not saying it to be deprecated. It's just a different kind of uh, action star where it's become a little bit more futuristic, a little more scientific, a little more technical, where uh, you don't actually have to spend your life pumping iron, which it's not exactly a lot of fun. And, and you can be created through CGI and, and be able to do things that are extraordinary. Actually, I'm a little jealous. So it's, it's, it's a whole different kind of action uh, character, but totally valid, because I think each generation has to create their own heroes. And ours come from the 80s and 90s, and each generation, like I said, will come and redefine what they like through the heroes they choose to adore. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. <laughs> what? So, uh, and, and the tone of this new film, um, you were saying backstage that you guys have kind of found out from the first movie what the second movie is. Yeah, when you're doing a film, when you're doing a, a, an action ensemble and you have ten tough guys and then you, you say, how do we showcase all their personalities? How do we get the best out there for the audience and still be able to tell a story and still keep the most important thing in an action film, which is the M word, momentum. You have to keep it going. Sometimes you bog down. That's why quite often they say, where's the backstory? Don't have time for the backstory. <laughs> That'd be a sequel to the backstory. It just keep going and going. It doesn't quite work that way. Even Rocky doesn't have a backstory. Rocky just boom, popped up on the street. We don't know where he came from or where he's going. So it's just the dealing in the moment. So with this uh, particular film, the first one was more of a searching, is it more dramatic, is it more hard R, is it try to do the comedy, some things work, some things don't. The audience is not quite sure what it is. But on the second one, you find out what works from the first one and then you try to amplify it. So the tone, Everyone's on the same page. It's like you're all playing for the same team and you all have the same playbook. And that's what finally comes about. And that's what takes time usually in sequels. And that's why the second one, if you have it all together, can actually surpass the first one. And I think we certainly achieved that on this one. Wow.